Happening now, police are still searching for the person who killed a seven year old boy who was leaving the River of Lights with his family Sunday. Now investigators have found the vehicle involved in the hit and run. Sasha Leninger is live at Central and Tingley where a memorial is growing there tonight. Sasha. Shelly, I do want to show you that memorial. It's really heartbreaking to see, but it is growing hour by hour here at Central and Tingley. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see. You can see the stuffed animals, the flowers, the balloons, some Christmas decorations, as well as candles. This, after seven-year-old Pinoy Bhattacharya was run over, dragged, and killed by an off-road vehicle that police say ran a red light and then took off. Our community is mourning his loss, including the off-roading community. Members tell us they are doing what they can to help that boy's family. These photos from Albuquerque police have been shared all over social media. You know, of course, nobody wants a person like that in our community. So, yeah, everybody in the, off, you know, in the Facebook groups, they were tagging every, each other, mm -hmm. tagging, you know, the presidents of clubs. Michael Angelo Ordones is part of Clica NM, an off-roading group that rides together and hosts several fundraisers. He says when he saw these photos and heard the story of what happened to seven-year-old Pronoy Baracharya, his heart hurt. I mean, I can only imagine what the family's going through, the father as well, you know, especially during the holidays, it's kind of, it's a rough time. He says he, along with several other off-road groups, have been trying to identify this vehicle. That is one thing about the off-road community is they are uh, united. You know, they don't want everybody to look at side by sides and think that that's something, you know, that's how everybody is, you know, because we want to let them know that, you know, of course, we're not like that and we do not want to, you know, be seen like that. Ordonas admits they do drive off-road vehicles on streets, but it's only to get to a location to where they can legally partake in off-roading. And when they do that, they follow all traffic laws. A lot of side-by-sides, they get their blinkers, you know, installed. They get, they have the brake lights. You have, you know, registered. A lot, the majority of them are registered with the state too. And there are the people that tend to take advantage of that. Yeah. And, you know, then it comes down to something like this. He has a message for the driver responsible. Their conscience is going to eat them alive. They need to come forward because that's just, I don't know, it's just not right. It's, I mean, I can only imagine what the family's going through. Well, Clica NM is hosting a fundraiser this weekend for Pinoy's family. It's at the Paletta Bar on the Southern and Unser from 4 to 8.30. We're told 20% of their sales will go to that boy's family. They also ask that you bring any donations from food to toys for the family. Live in Albuquerque, I'm Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. Back to you. Yeah, just such a devastating, sickening story. Sasha, thank you. Police have not arrested anyone in this case. Crime Stoppers is offering a $3,500 reward for any information that leads to an arrest. Call 843-STOP if you know anything.